Hi and welcome. My name is Laura. Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to process and keep track of your government customer sales tax liability payments. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe. In my previous tutorial on creating invoices, I went over how to set up sales tax and how to apply it to an invoice so that you can collect customer sales tax on behalf of your state revenue office. And I briefly talked about setting up the customer sales tax you collect as a liability as opposed to an expense because sales tax is not necessarily an expense but a liability because it is something you collect on behalf of your state revenue office and it is therefore payable to your state revenue office. Now I want to take a minute and show you an example of how the sales tax is processed by the system when you set it up as a liability. If you notice here in this example the total amount the business owner has in his asset account is $214.45 and of the $214.45 202 dollars and 31 cents is attributed to the sales income earned and the twelve dollars and 14 cents was collected as sales tax from the customer which brings us to a sum total of 214.45 as shown here the sales tax collected as you see here is listed under the liabilities account this sales tax liability has to be paid to process a sales tax liability you would use basically the same method you would use to create and process a bill. If you have been following along with my tutorials, this part is pretty simple. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail that I already went over in creating vendor bills. In this tutorial, I will be working under the assumption you already know how to create a vendor bill and the little details in between. If not, please go over my tutorial on creating vendor bills, posting and processing payments. Since this tutorial will be focusing on creating and processing a payment for a sales tax liability. First, I will begin by creating a vendor profile. I will select business from the menu bar, then vendor, then new vendor, and when the new vendor profile dialog box opens, I will enter the vendor, which I am required to submit the customer sales tax I collected on behalf of my state revenue office to. I will enter state revenue. I will enter an address, city and state, and click OK. Next, I will create a bill for the sales tax by selecting from the menu bar, business then vendor, then new bill. In the new bill dialog box, here I can change the date open, but I will leave the default and for vendor, I will enter the new vendor I created, state revenue, and select OK. This will open up the new bill screen. On the new bill screen, I will leave the default date as is. Of course, you would change it to whatever applies to your situation. And in the description fields, I will enter sales tax. And in the expense account transfer field, I will select the sales tax liability account. The quantity field, I will enter one. And then in the unit price, here I will enter the full amount of the liability, which is $12.14. Last but not least, I will select enter on the toolbar to record the changes and save on the toolbar to save the changes. The next step is to post the bill. The same way you would any other bill by selecting post from the toolbar and if you don't see your post icon like I can't most of the times like right now you have to scroll to the end of the toolbar and click on the arrow to reveal the other buttons and once you click on it it will bring up the post dialog box. As you see here, it is no different than how you would handle any other bill. The post date and the due date are entered by default. And if you need to change it, you can click on the drop down arrow to bring up the calendar 
you can use to change the dates. And once you are satisfied with your entries, click on OK. If you like, you can select Print Bill on the toolbar to print a copy of the bill. When I click on Print Bill, I can see I have various options. I can export the bill, print it, or create a PDF. Now if you look back at the chart of accounts, you can see nothing has changed. The totals are still the same. And you still see where the $12.14 is still owed, and that is because the bill has not been paid. When you are ready to submit the sales tax, you need to process the payment in the system. By selecting from the menu bar Business, then Vendor, and then Process Payment. In the Process Payment window, enter the vendor name and when the open bills appear that apply to the selected vendor, highlight it by clicking on it. Then scroll down to the Transaction Details section and make sure the pay amount is the correct amount of your sales tax liability. And in the Transfer field, select the account the payment is coming out of. In most cases, this will be the checking account. Then select OK to finish up. And now when I look back at the chart of accounts, there's a zero balance in the sales tax liability accounts as it should be since I just processed the payment. And when I look in the checking account register, I can see the sales tax liability has been paid. And what's really great is the sales tax liability account register will be keeping track of how much sales tax I paid during the year. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you have found this tutorial to be helpful.